Hi, 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 hi. Hello. This is Qualita, Qualana, and Amoya. And we are once again Build a Sister Up. It is drum roll Thursday. I forgot the date. Thursday. Something like that. Okay, mm -hmm. it's Thursday, September 8th. We got it, September 8th, and we're going to jump into our 10-minute topic. We're here. We do our 10-minute topic. We put our head in, take it out, and we shake it on about, and we do it a hokey pokey, and we turn ourselves around, and that's what the 10-minute is topic is all about. 10-minute topic of tonight is, do you actually see a great divide with Black men and women? And I can go first. Um, yes, I do. I see a great divide between a lot of different things that African-American men and women. Um, communication for me is definitely number one. I don't think that a lot of Black African, Amer a lot of African-American women um, know how to communicate very well. It could go left with in terms of communication and it's very unfortunate for this generation hopefully uh, the next generation will pick up that communication a lot better because it is definitely declining mm. <laughs> i the question is do i believe that there's a, a great divide with uh black men and women in america today I do, unfortunately. I think the communication, miscommunication is light on both ends. I do think um, people have their own perception of what, how they want their lives to be lived out. And not everyone agrees with that and, and their own standards and everything. And the standards that we are, you know, wanting out of each other to be met sometimes aren't being met. And we have to just ask mm -hmm. ourselves why. And there's other factors that are playing into it too, like um, society, inflation, <laughs> uh, recession-like conditions, COVID. I mean, generations, for generations, we've, um, I guess, gotten to, we've been building up to points of not being able to understand one another, just generally, Lots of uh, men and women can't really understand one another just because they, we have two different minds, you know, but billions of people have all different minds. Of course, no one is alike, but generally speaking, there's lots of different um, things that we want out of each other. And I'm, I guess I'm talking in circles again, but there's lots of different things we want out of each other that we're just not getting. And it amounts to frustration when we do communicate to one another. We can't communicate those things sometimes in the right way, in a civil manner. And we get angry and lash out and say, oh, I'm going to divest. Oh, I'm going to whatever. But um, yeah, I'm going to say we can learn from other cultures. We can learn to uplift our own culture. We can learn to love our own culture. We can learn to love other cultures too. Um, there's nothing wrong with loving other cultures, loving other people. But, you know, what about you? What's, what's within you? What's your bread and butter? What's your DNA? You know, what about where you came from? Those are the pillars of who you are, or you might believe they're not the pillars of who you are, and you do just completely want to separate yourself. But um, there's some of us that do love the whole world, but we do love ourselves too, and we love the people who look like us, and we want us to come together and build as opposed to break down. And breaking down, I believe, is happening a lot with you yeah. know silly, silly videos of saying this how men be like or this how women be like or women expect this men expect that and why do why y'all expect this when you're not giving a b and c or what do y'all bring to the table you know things like that is only gonna tear us you know down and take us 10 steps back it's not productive so we need to come together in productive ways but there is something that's holding us back don't know exactly how to pinpoint it but there's something and instead of, you know, fighting it out, cussing it out and disparaging, we can unite love and just talk about what's really going on. Mm -hmm. That's true. I mean, you all are bringing it home. That's why we 
thought of the group name that we did, Build a Sister Up, Build a Brother Up, because a lot of times um, we as people, you know, uh, we don't build each other up. And there can be, and I do see there's a great divide between women and men. A lot of times too, it depends upon the community where you're living at. Community, income, health. Health has a lot to do with it. You know, mental health too. Getting a lot of, um, getting the right mental uh, diagnosis that's going on with you. That can create a big divide with women, men, and men, and men, and women, and men, women. I mean, just people in general. Because if there's something going on inside of you internally, how can you express or talk to anybody if you haven't checked yourself? So um, where you live at, income plays a big part. Also exercising too. You know, a lot of times, um, eating right, eating right and exercising. All of those we might think is just, that's all help, but that has a lot to do with it. Because if you're eating right, taking care of your body, then you'll feel confident in order to talk to that other, um, the other sex, um, the same sex, you'll have that confidence in you. If, you know, your uh, levels are okay, that's what I'm thinking about. So yeah, it's a great divide. And I think the great divide starts within all of us. So if we all look and see what we're divided on and work on that individually, then we can all come together collectively. Mm -hmm. Terrence said, not a divide, but a crazy competition that has no room for any okay. kind of losses. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, and this true. Yeah. There's a there's a big competition between men and women. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's the truth. Who hurt who the most? <laughs> that's one of the competitions. Who is the one that really hurt who the most? Darren said mm -hmm. we must we must learn to accept our differences and stop trying to force others to either be like us or do what we want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that brings home the point that we do have to hear one uh, each other out on our points that we're trying to convey to one another. Um, we just don't know what the other wants from one another, truly. And that's why different um, people are trying to give, you know, their opinions on it. And if someone goes against the grant, well, if someone goes against what that person is saying or what the popular opinion is, you know, mm -hmm. there's lashing out and there's the, the cancel culture or there's things oh, yeah. that you know, oh, you are a, a pick me or you are a, a sellout <laughs> or a simp if you're doing X, Y, Z different from ABC. Uh, you know, I just kind of said that. I'm guessing but, that since you don't have yeah. to agree, you know. Yeah, we don't have to agree. But you can at least and hear, each other, hear out. each other out. Right. Yeah, respectfully, listen. you don't always have to end in an argument. Um, Darren also said there are a lot of old unhappy boys and girls portraying themselves as men and women, and that's that that's so true. They're mm -hmm. grown um, adults, but trapped in a child mindset. Oh, you yeah. would say. And people don't listen. That's another thing. A lot of people, um, it's a big divide because we don't listen to one another. You know, if someone is expressing their feelings and I mean, this also sounds like it ties in with relationships, but you know, it is. You could be in a boyfriend, girlfriend, or friendship, relationship, whatever, mm -hmm. but you have to listen to one another. You know, yeah. just don't wait for that person to stop talking so you can say what you got to say. At least, you know, acknowledge what they're saying, let them know you're listening, and then, you know, you give the same heat back. You know, I'm listening. Well, listening. sometimes you do got to wait for the other person to stop talking if they're long winded. Because uh, <laughs> sometimes, I mean, oh, you could be in a conversation with someone and they talk so long you forget your point. Uh, so sometimes you do have to cut long winded people off so that both people are being heard. You well, know, yeah. that's just a dominant conversation where only one person is actually talking. 
Uh, Darren also said lots of people are unhappy and they are looking for someone to bring them happiness. And that is yeah, so true. Yeah. A lot that's of people do try to find other happiness in others. And that's just not the case. You got to be happy with yourself. He yeah. also said boys seem to hate men that are doing great things for their women and dudes hate the competition. They love easy mm -hmm. girls, but want a girl to accept the childish behavior and vice versa. And that's so true. I mean, he just said a whole word. It's yes, just confusing yes, yes. <laughs> sometimes. Yes. You are it's expect, like, some people are expecting other people to ex accept their standards yeah. when they don't have the same standards. So yeah. different levels. And that's okay. Just meet someone at your level meet or raise your level if you want someone else that yeah. is out of your level. You just have to yeah. see what you want and try and get instead of tearing Being them upset down. because yeah. they don't fit into what you want. Okay. So your box. Right. Yeah. If a woman wants to be provided for okay that's that's her and if a man doesn't want to provide for that woman that's him just find a man that you want to provide for you and if a man doesn't want to provide find a woman that's not looking for you to provide right you don't have to date that particular woman or be upset with her because of her preferences and vice versa uh Sheldon said true listening takes patience and active listening yeah. and that's definitely true active listening were the key words that he said you definitely have to listen to understand and not listen to oh, respond okay. right and it's definitely hard to actively listen because we, um, so many people or so many of us are on the defensive. We feel like when people are talking to us, they're talking at us as opposed yeah. to expressing their own feelings about something. So when someone right. is telling you something, it's, it's on their heart. It's not necessarily about you. It could be about something you're doing, but it's how they're feeling. So it's fair to let them, to hear them out and allow them that space and then allow yourself to actually take in what they said and then respond uh darren said i love the group i wish that all the hate the opposite sex posts were not allowed and the posters removed sometimes we make you know approve a post and sometimes the poster may go back and change it or sometimes a post is approved and in the comments is something totally different than what was posted so we okay. do have to watch out for that and but but sometimes we do allow posts because that's those posts are from people that want to talk about that. Mm -hmm. And that's once again, that's what the, was on their mind. And we, they deserve a chance to be heard out too. Some posts are, um, we don't allow inappropriate posts, but posts where it seems like there's a great divide. Um, we it's have a teachable to, moment. yeah, it's a teachable moment. We have to see what this person is talking about and the kind of response they want to get. We're not like a a study group we're not like studying people but you know we're a group we're a build a sister up, build a brother up we want to see what people are talking about and we want to you know encourage discussion of those topics that might be controversial you know but those topics that might be controversial are the, the topics that, that need to be discussed but they need mm -hmm. to be discussed because they're on somebody's hearts and minds for and you know true. some reason but yeah Darren I definitely agree the purpose of our group is to build up one another but sometimes people just have things they want to talk about, you know? And mm -hmm. during those posts, we can always leave room for an opportunity to build them up. You know what I mean? How right. can somebody with negative ways of thinking be built up? Because those people need to be built up as well. Darren said, listening can't be done with extended talking because your mind strays and some people just ramble. And that's what we were saying. Sometimes yeah. you got to cut people off that just talk, talk and talk because at that time they are dominating the conversation and that's unfair to the person who actually wants to communicate. You know that's what I mean? Crazy. Communication is a two-way street. Yeah, at that point, it's just venting instead of wanting to actually have a conversation and, you know, get to a resolution with someone sometimes. That's, but you know what? That's a good point, Colin, because at the end of the day, it's getting to a resolution. That's what you want to try to do when it's a disagreement with people. You want to try to get to some resolution. Again, even right. if it's just to agree to disagree, but respect is all it is in the end because sometimes things between men and women can go left field and then the disrespect is just out the window. Like, let's oh, just man. bring the respect back and keep it. Uh, Sheldon said, I appreciate the platform that you ladies provide. We definitely appreciate that feedback, Sheldon. Thank you. And... And Darren said, ask for solutions with posts, not just blame the other sex back and forth. The fighting kills the positive minded who truly want to promote unity. And that is yeah, true. That's um, so true. Yeah, like we said. It's counterproductive. It, exactly. It definitely <laughs> is counterproductive. But as we said, you know, those are opportunities to um, 
for a teachable moment and, and seeing those posts yeah we definitely have to build each other up during those posts even if it's um one person who disagrees and is the naysayer or the black sheep of this family the build a sister up build a bro brother family we have to lead with respect and love right. and getting a point across yeah yeah and i just want to say i guess specifically to our guys to the men black men black boys young boys um, we love you all. Take care of your health. Take care of your mind. Take care of your wealth. Build up um, and just give love to one another. You all are kings. You all are blessed and you have lots to give to the world. And to our sisters, we love you all too. You all are beautiful. You all are just courageous. You all are just soft, beautiful women that deserve the world. And we deserve the world and each other. We deserve happiness. We deserve peace. And we deserve wealth. We deserve life. We deserve health. We deserve all of that. So let's get together and get it. Let's get it, y'all. Shelly That's said, true. I can't shake my head enough. That's true. <laughs> I'm getting a headache and whiplash and shaking mine. Uh, Shelly said, you can always ask the person who is over talking to hold that thought or to put a pin in that thought. And that's definitely, definitely true. <laughs> See, yes. You know what? <laughs> what Darren is doing, he's actually teaching us some active conversation skills, how to engage with one another productively so we can hear each other out. Those are good conversation skills to have, actually. Yeah, I appreciate your thought, but could you just put a pin in it for a second while I get mine out? Yeah, motion like this. Yes, yes. Like, if I if I may, interject, <laughs> you know. Uh, Darren said R-E-S-P-E-C-T should be mandatory and adults do it even while disagreeing. That's a teachable moment. If I disagree, show me a different vantage point. Black women are the most awesome creation e ever. And we definitely appreciate that. And as are you Black men. All yeah. right, this one was definitely a fun topic. And we have one more quick question. Check for understanding. All right. Yeah, we, we just need to, you know, check on each other. We need to check on each other's health. Mental health, physical health, all of that. We need to just open up the dialogue to exude love and confidence within one another. You and know, Darren was saying during that long winded talk with that person, you can say, hey, I just want to understand this yeah. before you continue. Can I ask you a quick question just so you can understand and that you guys are on the same page? And that can be, you know, a good talk right. as well. And that's also respectful. Right. Too. I'm not about to cut you off, but I just right. want to say this real quick. You know? Right. Just so I know that we're on the same page. All right. This one was definitely a fun one. Listen, we have a lot of barriers that we have to knock down between Black men and women. This conversation is not over. This is a continued conversation because, hey... The barriers are still there between Black men and women. But we definitely appreciate everyone who's tuned in and who's watched and who's commented. Thank you so much for listening to us. It's always nice to talk among each, amongst each other, but it's even better when you all come out and join us. As always, remember to build bold, build better, build brilliant, build a brother up, build a sister up. Bye.